And what is up, everybody? Thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Today we are going to get into our predictions for the end of the year awards from MVP to Rookie of the Year to Defensive and Offensive Players of the Year. You won't want to miss a second of it, so be sure to tune in and tell your friends to come back here and tune into these videos. Let's get into this. Today I am with a Steeler fan friend, Nathan. He is over here today. He is going to be giving you his predictions as well. So we are going to start off with Offensive Rookie of the Year. So Nathan, who do you have as your Offensive Rookie of the Year? Joe Burrow is definitely... Um, uh, because he definitely improved the offensive line and, and the weapons. They did. They, Jonah Williams, he's coming back healthy. Of course, they already have Joe Mixon, who's a really good running back. Plus, they have several uh, really good young receivers from Auden T. T. Higgins. John Ross looked really good in that system last year as well. I thought about Joe Burrow as well for my Offensive Player of the Year. I also thought about Michael Pittman, uh, rookie wide receiver from Indianapolis, uh, who's gained a lot of work with a uh, team with a uh, uh, with a first uh, string team. Uh, so I wouldn't be surprised if he was the best rookie receiver this year. Uh, but I'm going to go with Clyde edwards Healer. A lot is just because of the offense that he is in. And we, we know that, you know, Andy Reid was talking him up like to be the next David Westbrook, who had a lot of success with Andy Reid in Philadelphia. Um, of course, Patrick Mahomes really wanted to get Clyde edwards Healer. I wasn't a huge fan of him during the draft process, uh, but he does fit this offense. And, you know, it, just being in Kansas City's offense, he's going to produce as long as he stays healthy. So I have him going for offensive rookie of the year and be sure to let us know in the comments what you think who whose picks do you like better his or mine uh maybe if you have a different pick you know let us know in the comment section below what you think of this be sure to use that comment section we're going to move on to defensive rookie of the year i will start off on this one and i would almost pick patrick queen another guy who i wasn't super high on but fits the defense that he is with in baltimore but i'm going to go with chase young i know it's a vanilla pick here you know not super exciting uh, but I do really like Young. He's going to produce pretty quickly. I think Ron Rivera will get a lot out of him. Um, I know he, some people thought he was a little bit raw, but I still think he's going to produce year one. Who do you have for defensive rookie of the year? Isaiah Simmons, definitely. Um, w w when um, I, I thought he would fall to Cleveland to like uh, uh, other mock drafts, but um, I actually had him in all three of my mock drafts I did. I had him going to Cleveland, but... I could see it better instead of Baker Mayfield. I could see it better with Kyle Murray and the Arizona Cardinals. Yeah, th that's definitely not a bad pick. Uh, I think of Isaiah Simmons. He's so versatile. They uh, just signed Buda Baker to the highest, con the biggest contract in history for a safety. Uh, so they they are definitely buying into the versatility of a defense, and I believe they're going to put him all over the place. Not a bad pick at all. Would not be surprised if Isaiah Simmons won. Defensive Rookie of the Year. Moving on to Offensive Player of the Year. Who do you have? Chris McCaffrey, of course. Not That's definitely, you know, would not be surprising after the year he had last year. Could as well this year. I was a little bit stuck with this because I wanted to do something different than him, okay? Yeah. So I, I, was, I was determined to pick something different. So I'm going to go with Dak Prescott. And I thought about Josh <laughs> Allen and Kenny Galladay as dark horse picks. Um, but I'm going to go with Dak Prescott because he has a lot of weapons this year. Of course, they added C.D. Lamb through the draft. They already have Michael Gallup and uh, Mari Cooper and, of course, Ezekiel Elliott in the backfield. So they're going to be throwing the ball a lot in Mike McCarthy's offense. I do think this will help him, uh, especially when it comes to uh, his, uh, the, his overall capability, his overall upside on offense. Two defensive player of the year. I've got a little bit of a shocker here, but who do you have for defensive player of the year? And I do like this one. Uh, um, as you know, I'm a Steelers fan, of, uh, as Andrew is too, but of course, T.J. Watt, definitely. Yeah, I, you know, we all love T.J. Watt, and I, honestly, if he wouldn't have picked him, I may have taken him, uh, but again, I wanted to do something differently, but I can't disagree with T.J. Watt. I think he's going to have an outstanding year. I wouldn't be surprised if he broke the Steelers' season sack record um, this year. Uh, I'm going to go with his teammate, though. I'm going to go with Devin Bush. This is a shocker not many people are talking about, but at the end of the year last year, he improved greatly in coverage. He was really good against the run, and a lot of people talk about how Minko, when he came over, this defense was top-notch, going along with Bud Dupree to TJ Watt. Devin Bush had a big part in that defense last year. He really brought everyone together in the middle of that defense. 
Um, and, you know, I know communication was an issue at the beginning of the year, but he made plays for this defense, and that was something that the Steelers have not had since Brian Shazier. This was huge. It was an excellent move to get go up and get him. I do, I'm do. i not a big Kevin Colbert fan, but I did have to give him credit where credit is due. He went up, got him, even though it paid, it, it cost a pretty penny to go up and get him. It was worth it because we needed to get that playmaker that Devin Bush is, um, and I would not be surprised at all if he ends up being an all-pro. That is why I have him as my defensive player of the year for 2020. This one's, we, I believe we agree on this one, comeback player of the year. This one was is a little bit tougher. You know, there's a lot of good candidates out there. But, of course, we may be showing our bias as Steelers fans here. But who, who do you have as your defense, as your, um, excuse me, comeback player of the year? Steelers fan, Steelers fan, like Steelers fan. Um, uh, we both have Ben Roethlisberger, as I believe. Yes, yes, I do have Ben Roethlisberger as well. There are a couple others I thought of. Baker Mayfield would make sense after the off year he had last year. Uh, some people would argue Matthew Stafford because he was injured at the end of last year. Yeah, that's um, what I was thinking. Yeah, th- th- there's all there's a lot of good options, uh, but. Honestly, with the weapons Big Ben has, Chase Claypool has been tearing it up in camp. Eric Ebron, um, if he can stay healthy, of course, they have Vance McDonald as well. They have more size. Uh, of course, Juju Smith-Schuster, I expect him to have a bounce-back year. You also have uh, Deontay Johnson and James Washington there uh, that could have breakout seasons as well. There are a lot of weapons in this offense. If the offensive line holds up, I, I think Ben will start off a little bit rusty. Uh, he hasn't looked that great in camp, uh, but I do expect him by the end of the year uh, to be a really nice, to have a really nice season, and hopefully lead our Steelers to a Super Bowl run. We have two awards left that we're going to get into. Of course, I talk a lot about fantasy football, so we have our fantasy awards. Now you're going to go with Christian McCaffrey, right? Yeah. <laughs> and he's going to keep it the same for that. I'm going to go with Kyler Murray here, and I actually like this one because the addition of DeAndre Hopkins. They have Christian Kirk. They actually dropped Hakeem Butler, which I'm going to get into if uh, you haven't checked out. Um, I, I'm i not sure when I'm going to release it at this point, uh, c- but my video that's going to be coming out on the roster cutdowns, uh, be sure to check that out. Um, and, you know, you'll notice that they cut Hakeem Butler. That was a, kind of a harebrained cut to me, uh, but uh, they, uh, he doesn't really fit the system and what they want to do there. Uh, but they have Andy Isabella. They have uh, Keyshawn Johnson. Uh, they have a lot of good uh, young receivers there, uh, so we'll see what happens there. Of course, Kenyon Drake will also help as well, plus the offensive line's much improved. So I expect Kyler Murray to have a really nice year in fantasy football this year. Would not surprise me if he outscored Lamar Jackson. To the final one, which before we move on, I must say that I also had DJ Moore and Kenny Galladay for fantasy MVP considerations as well, but I decided to go with the quarterback. For MVP, we're going to close out the video with our MVP picks. Who do you got? According to my prediction, best quarterback, uh, Patrick Mahomes. Um, he, he has um, way better, um, well, not a better matchup, but uh, with Clyde Edwards, Hillier, and all the guys, I predict, I predict 15-1 for him. Wow. Uh, going, it, uh, going in a winning Super Bowl. It's kind, of, it, 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 it's kind of weird for me to go that high. 15-1 for a team, but... Well, it's, it's, it really is possible. If you look at Kansas City's schedule, I mean, we don't know what to expect in a year like this. We really don't. Um, but I also have Patrick Mahomes as my MVP. You know that I've been on the Mahomes hype train since day one, since before he was drafted, and I'm not leaving it now. He has all the weapons in the world. The offensive line, I'm a little bit concerned because their guard, Duvernay Tardif, uh, is uh, he's opted out of the season. Of course, Damien Williams opted out as well, but they have Clyde Edwards here. Running game should be fine. A little bit uh, nervous about the offensive line, but I think it will be fine. He has all the weapons in the world with Sammy Watkins, McCole, Hardman, Tyreek Hill, and now, of course, Clyde Edwards here, and then Travis Kelsey at the tight end position. They have everything they need. Yeah. So those are the main uh, awards we have. If you disagree with us, or if you just want to say, if you want to pat us on the back in the comment section, go ahead. Uh, But that is going to do it all for this video. That is Nathan. I am Andrew. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'm counting on you guys to subscribe to the channel. That's going to do it all for today. We'll see you next time.